Patrick, yeah, it's nice to meet you, boys. Nice to meet you. Can I make you an ice cream? I present to you the most anabolic ice cream truck in existence. Johnny? Johnny? Johnny! Good morning, everybody. I am in beautiful Los Angeles, California. That is my view. That is my view. I feel like I haven't vlogged for a very long time, given that personal touch, so I'm gonna do that today. First order of business today is to go get some coffee. There's tons of these, like, bougie, hippie spots here. Like, there's a place beside Starbucks that says, rejuvenate your life. Look in here and tell me what do you see? Darkness. Like everything here is organic, except the people. I'm just a simple man, I like my Starbucks coffee. Right after this, we are gonna go to train, so this is my pre-workout. I don't take pre-workout anymore, it makes me feel sick. I've been enjoying training fasted lately, but today is a super busy day, so I gotta work out now. If I don't do it now, there's no chance I'm doing it later. Oh, fuck. You guys have been asking me how I program my overhead press, so I do it in a three week block. So week one, which is this week, top set of five followed by three by 10. Week two, top set of three followed by three by eight. And then week number three, we have a heavy single followed by uh, three by six. Pretty much what I'm doing is I am warming up to a top set of five, which is be my heaviest set of the day. Five reps pretty much all out. And then after that, I'm gonna back the weight down 20% to 160 pounds for three sets of 10. So we're gonna see how this goes here. You have to go. A bit more grindy than I thought I was gonna be happy with that, so we're gonna back the way down to 160, three by 10. Weights at this gym are much heavier than back at home. You guys know me as Will, I have bad knees, Tennyson, because I always talk about how I have bad knees, and I notice when I do legs and I go really heavy, that's how my knees get really, really bad. So what I've been doing is I've been getting a lot of volume in by doing a lot of sets. So I'm doing Smith Machine squats, five to seven sets, 10 to 12 reps. I've noticed tremendous improvements in my legs. I'm gonna probably go up to like 275 or 315 and uh, just see how it goes. Good, that's set one, we'll see by set seven. So much. We're gonna be doing a superset with this machine I've never used before, this Kinesis cable thing. Superseted with this rear delt thing I've never seen. A rear delt row. So probably three sets, 12 to 15 on each one. It's a superset, not a vacation. Come on. The only downside in messing around with machines is that you only wish that they had these at your home gym, but then they don't. When you get to the end of a set, it's okay to cheat a little bit to get it up. With anything rear delt, you don't really need to go too heavy. It's all about the contraction of the top and holding it for like, a two second count here. We've been doing three sets of 20 on leg extensions. This is the third set now, we're gonna end off the double drop set. So after you do your main set and you go to drop the weight, do not take your legs out. Keep them locked in because it keeps the blood in the quads here and it burns like crazy way more than if you take your legs out. This is the last set and then workout is done. Don't take your legs out. Oh my 
friends, is how you murder your quads. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Depending on where I go, safe words may change, but my staple grocery travel haul always remains the same. I always get some Greek yogurt, I get egg whites, which I'm out of right now, and then I also get some cold cuts. Oh my god, oh, this, these are so bad for you guys. Just like the fitness industry, there are some natural ones around. I'm gonna finish the rest of this, which is like half the container. And then what we're doing right now is we are heading to Muscle Beach to do a Gymshark photo shoot for the new stuff that's coming out. It's gonna be pretty much all day long, so I gotta eat up. Very tasty. We're behind the scenes of the Gymshark shoot. Look at that. They knew I was coming. Patrick, look at these donuts. Oh, there's only cake donuts there, Andy. Yeah, exactly. I love cake. Take that back. Steffi and I filmed a boxing video yesterday. I feel pretty banged up, do you? Yeah, I'm not really pretty f***ed. You're being sarcastic? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm getting beautified right now. Hi. Oh, hi. Well, how are you? We can like draw on some facial hair. Yeah, well, airbrush. Yeah. I just mixed a little bit of Night Rider in to give it a little bit more. A little bit of Night Rider. We're all just discussing right now because Nathaniel's kind of nervous because his drug test is coming up. Huh? David's trying to crack me out. That's the problem. IPF, if you're watching this, I'm staying true. David is not going to oh, yeah. discourage me from my natty status. Yeah. So, yeah. IPF, if you're oh my this guy drug <laughs> test him now, all right? He's in the United States strictly to get steroids. <laughs> After hearing your explanation, yeah. you're going to get so much secondhand smoke just from being like in the Venice, the Mecca of marijuana here in California that you're going to fail your drug test anyway. So, you might as well. You know what I mean? So, if I'm going to fail it, I'm not going to fail some yeah. bullshit like we might as well go hardcore bro exactly oh, going all the way it's okay where's the trend you got the, you got the trend <laughs> <He doesn't> <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> don't eat human flesh okay do you think human flesh would be lean? Here? His like a, would. Or would you be like a ribeye or like a sirloin cut? Are we right, eating right. Lizzo or are we eating Matt? <laughs> yeah, are we eating a sumo wrestler or Michael Hearn? We like should swap really guys with Ted Bundy then. That's a good show. There you go. Yeah. That's my name. We have like sunscreen every every 10 minutes here. For the shoot, Dave is doing his backstage Olympia routine here. Because you never see David laid in like color, right? It's just always black, right? It's about like eight shades away from black, which is just eight scary units of uh, scary. It's not black. Shoot is finally done. It is almost 10 o'clock at night. I have so much makeup on my face. I could probably teach a class at Clown College right now, but this is gonna be my dinner here. It's like this steak grain bowl. Very small, I'm probably gonna have like three of them. Literally all I've eaten today is like yogurt, I have a bubble tea, three protein shakes, and now this. You have to realize when you travel, by the trip's end, you literally look like it's your fitness journey's beginnings, because you lose like all your gains, you go catabolic, you just don't train, you don't eat, but you look kind of cut, so I guess. That's the plus side. So dinner has now progressed from just the steak bowl to now this massive goat cheese salad. Like, There's also chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. Oh, hell yeah. Please, Thank you. Who actually gets apple slices? Who gets apple slices when you go to like a, a, a fried chicken place? Losers get apple slices. Oh, oh. yeah, you like them? Thanks. Pass your please. <laughs> He's making my head hurt. Day number two, and I present to you the most anabolic ice cream truck in existence. So I'm in charge of running the protein ice cream truck, the first ever anabolic ice cream truck on the planet. I have never been in the back of an ice cream truck, conscious at least. We have the PB Fit. We have the quinoa protein puffs. We got some sugar-free syrup. You guys know we gotta have Walden Farms because ice cream's a lot like love. It tastes better when you put some syrup on it. It's like my bedside table nightstand right here. We got the protein ice cream, so it's all like fruit-based. We got like mango, strawberry. Let's see what this looks like, actually. Oh, that's a lot of ice cream. 
It smells like cheesecake. Oh my god. It's opening up in five minutes. The line's gonna be insane because I think we're the only food in this entire event. So I'm gonna be here just scooping all day. I mean, my wrist made it through puberty, so I, I think I can scoop all day. I, I can get through this, right? Two seconds later. This is what happens when you're a passionate ice cream man. Scooping just because it's too vigorous. Feel a little sting, okay? Yep. You're a big boy, right? So we don't cry around On here. the outside, not the inside. Okay. Nice tune in. This is your walkie. If you okay. need anything, refills, gloves, scoopers, we got you. Walkie check. What do you want to go by? Call me 007. Hey, what should I go by? You should go by Ice Cream Man. That's so good. Ice Cream Man? Yeah. No, how about vanilla? Ooh. I'll be vanilla. Can I be chocolate then? Yes. Okay. Business is now open. Someone's taking orders outside. I'm getting them in here. So we got the first one now. I'd like to taste test my product before I deal it. Wow. You got the toppings? Yeah. That's a big handoff here. Okay. It's all in the wrist. And then my clients love a little the twisting finisher. Johnny? Johnny? Johnny! Johnny Sins? I'm about to drop it, Johnny. All right, Johnny, don't get ice cream. Can I make you the most anabolic Sunday of all time? Anything that can I make it my own? All right, it's coming right up. Wait, they want a BJ in that too. They want a BJ in it? <laughs> the restaurant game is all about service. The customer is always right. Here you go, man. This one's just for you. I cover it with a nice nut on top. I turned this myself. I was working all night just doing this. Ready? Right. That's good. Out of 10, what do you give it? I give it like a 9.8. 9.8? If I worked at Chipotle, this is what the guac would be like, like that. And I wouldn't even charge you. Oh my god. Sign? I feel like I work at Starbucks right now. Sign? There you go. Enjoy. Patrick. Yes, yeah, so nice Patrick. to meet you, boys. Nice to try and make you an ice cream. I'll tell you what, yes, I'll have one now. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to spoil my lunch, but let's do it. Yeah. Thank you very Absolutely. much. This is legit. Yeah, man. This is cool. This is really cool. Again, I'm gonna try one more time, Johnny. Johnny! You know what? Screw Johnny. Johnny, this is you, and you're watching this. Good than you. What? What language is that? <laughs> if you can do 50 push-ups right now straight, I'll give you like a tennis and special Sunday. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Come on, three, nine, three, 40, ten more. Nine, 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 come on, two more, let's go. Two, one, 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 two, there you go. And then for a little bit of chemicals, a little Walton Farms. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Fire. Well deserved, man. Thank you. 50 push ups, not easy. I haven't done that many in a long time, so. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh, that's a sick belt, man. Thank you. I feel like I should make you sign a waiver if I fuck this up right now. <laughs> nah, I think you're fine, bro. Right here? Yeah. Bro, you said fuck Goku, it's all about Will. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this guy from the curling video where we dry scooped pre-workout. Now he comes and he wants to shock an energy drink with me, so of course I'm gonna do it. How the hell do you do that that fast? You're an actual psychopath. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was looking for you, I, was, I didn't want to take a picture with anyone. I was like, where's Will's butt? Where's my butt? Yeah, and I was oh. like, oh, that's him. You, you can just tell by my butt? Yeah. Congrats to you, man. Thank you so much. I've been watching you like. Respect. Hey, well, no, I can't get you. 
Nah. Yeah. Yeah. You were saying that. Like you're being encouraged. You want to be encouraging. See, that's your power, brother. And your power is what you use to encourage other people. Oscar's wearing the Ollie's gym merch. Holy f man. Hell yeah. Shit, that's making me emotional, man. Fuck. I've ever seen Matos Fitness in a salad bar. How's it feel? Stressful. We're at this team dinner right now at Kaba. You guys something to say? Me and Will have got a co announcement to make. Will? What's the announcement? As of next week, we're officially adopting uh, animal. What animal? The guinea fowl. That's true. But in all seriousness, probably like a, a forty dollar cava bowl. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting everybody today. Energy was insane. Thank you guys all for coming out. So I'm gonna wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.